Do you know how tax prorations work? You're definitely going to want to watch this one. We're at a time of year when the school tax bill is coming in August in Pennsylvania and the fiscal year is coming up as it runs from July 1st to June 30th. Right away that might be shocking to a lot of people and it affects how much money you're going to be walking away with when you sell your home and what your escrows are going to be when you buy a home because tax prorations are different. So typically in Pennsylvania, with the exception of Philadelphia, so we're talking about the suburban counties here, Philadelphia bills their tax bill on a calendar year and the bill comes out sometime in March. Everything's based on a January 1st to December 31st fiscal billing period. So that's easy, everyone knows how that works. This is where people get confused because you get a school tax bill in August and they think that's for the upcoming year. It's actually for July 1st up until June 30th the following year. So if you're settling on a home in the end of June, beginning of July, you might have to make a partial payment or a full payment in some cases, even though the bill hasn't come out yet. We know, we've gone through this before. Then you have your county tax and your borough or township tax. That's gonna be the municipality. That gets billed on a calendar year. So when the prorations come out, what's important to know is that you're not necessarily getting back a full year's worth of taxes. If you settle on June 30th, you're not getting back anything because they've already been paid for the full year. If you're settling July 5th, you might owe a little bit of money, and this is for sellers, because you haven't paid the school taxes yet for the 2022-2023 school year. And it confuses a lot of people, so it's really critical to know how these things get adjusted. The best thing to do is if you have questions about this, you're not sure, get in touch with your agent, make sure they're calculating the prorations properly. It's really easy to do. And that way you're gonna have an accurate way to determine what you're entitled to with your escrows that you might've had with your mortgage company, what you've already paid and what is coming due, but the bill hasn't come out yet.